you are watching Redicon. Let's look at C for conus or cod. In the lumbar spine imaging, only lower part of the cod or conus is seen. Pathologies in this region can be easily missed as more focus is always on the disc levels. It is important to rule out conus pathology such as the Maslian, teethering, myelomalacia, syrinx, or inflammatory changes such as arachnoiditis. So let's look at the first case in C or cord and conus. So this case shows approximately 3.5 or 4 centimeter lien in the phylum terminal. This lien shows ISO to mild hyperintense signal on the left side which is T2 weighted images while on the extreme right you can show bright fatty signal. So that represents a lipoma of the phylum terminal. Let's look at the second case. There is approximately 2 to 2.5 centimeter intramedal relian which is ISO to hypo intense and shows avid contrast enhancement on the right sided images. Appearances are quite typical of a spinal ependymoma. Ependymomas are a relatively broad group of lesions mainly seen in the posterior fossa 60% of the times, supratentorial 30% of the time, and spinal 10% of the time, where these are intramedullary lesions. Let's look at this case using our ABCD template. Alignment appears satisfactory. There may be a mild spasm present. However, all in all, it appears with no significant findings. When we analyze B or body heights, body heights are intact, no evidence of a fracture, no segmentation, no fusion anomaly. You can see some end plate type 2 end plate degenerative changes in the lower thoracic vertebrae. However, when you pay close attention to C or conus, you can see indistinct pattern of conus. After this case was picked up during the lumbar spine imaging, a completion staging scan for the thoracic spine with contrast was performed which confirmed an 8 cm intramedullary but eccentric space occupying lien. It was found to be hemangioblastoma which are benign vascular lesions and generally do not undergo malignant degeneration. 80% of hemangioblastomas are solitary however if multiple lesions are present then VHL or one lipal one hippal lindo syndrome should be suspected. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.